I promise you this is so far from anything that you've ever been to. And now. All right, so let's get into seller client servicing. Hey, Damon, you there? I'm here. All right, so Damon and I uh, had a call recently, and um, I think it was something of the the gist of the call was, you know, yeah, but our market is is tough. We're carrying a lot of inventory, and, and they're not selling. And, you know, once you get inventory, you just put it through the process. Weekly calls, 30-day market reviews. And I challenged Damon. I said, I, I, I sort of bet you're not keeping up. You're not pushing your clients hard enough into what the reality is in the market. So you're not even giving your clients a chance to have their home sells because you're not challenging them with, with good data and to let them know what it is, what, to, what it's taking to get home sold. Damon, share, share the experience that your listing partners got once you challenge them in this, in this area. Well, we, um, we sat down and we actually did our meeting like we're supposed to and went through our inventory and everything. And I just gave them a list of stuff that I wanted reduced, which was probably half of the listings. We had 69, 68 listings at the time. I said I wanted half of them reduced that week. We probably reduced 20 of them and substantial uh, discounts, I mean, or di or price adjustments, anywhere from five to $25,000 price adjustments. And um, we sold 10 in eight days. Yeah, awesome. That's it. I mean, that, and, and that's it. So, so one thing I, I forgot. So Damon, um, for whatever reason, wasn't having like a set, like his listing partner is required to meet on Tuesday mornings at 9 a.m. from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and to go through listing appointments from the prior week and all of the active listings and come up with a plan for how those listings are going to sell. So the one, so Damon was more focused on securing the listings, but a little bit less focused on just having a weekly rhythm around how these listings are actually going to sell. So, I mean, it's, it's, and, and that's why I wanted to do this call, whether or not, whether you have five or 10 listings, or if you have, you know, a hundred plus listings, having a systematic approach to working through this stuff is, is the only way to take someone that you, you're making a promise to the seller that you're going to do your best to sell their home. And then when you list their home and, and the showings don't happen, you don't even want to make those phone calls. I get it. I've, I've been to closings six months after I met with somebody and I didn't know which side of the closing table was mine of sellers. So I know I've had people cancel their listings with me or listings expire and I've made one or two phone calls to them in six months. So I know how not to do this. I know the, the, you know, the, 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 the way not to service a client and the only way to systematically convert a listing an active listing into a closed uh, listing is just to work them. Anything else to share, Damon? No, I mean, I guess the biggest thing is, uh, you know, we were in a habit of a while of collecting listings, I guess, and, you know, we were trying to keep 100 listings on inventory, and that really isn't the goal. The goal is to churn them, and so now we're trying to concentrate on churning them every 60, 70 days, which our market, average sales uh, time on market's a relist. It's about seven months. And so we're trying to concentrate on getting them sold in 60 to 70 days. And it takes work. It takes pushing people out of their comfort zone because everybody wants more than their house is worth. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Cool, man. Thanks. All right. So, so bottom, bottom line is it doesn't, I had a, a coach tell me once um, before it was Todd Walters who told me, this guy has sold like 5,000 homes or something, um, told me that if the seller has a motivation is motivated to sell, right? So they have a big enough why to sell. You take that listing at any price. So don't fight with them too hard if they have a real reason to move because you can be, be open and honest and not mislead them in the pricing strategy process, but you don't want another person to list that home and, you know, by happenstance, they get it reduced to the right price. And, you know, so you don't want to fight them too hard in the beginning. And that's why that listing addendum and the listing inventory balance sheet. Let me pull up the listing addendum here real quick. This is a, a, a must use for everyone in this group. Uh, you're filling this out for every listing. And the, the most important part here is the listing, the pricing strategy agreement. 